Hello and welcome Facebook community. You have come again to another special event with the Writers Collective of Canada. And if you've never met us before, we do virtual and in-person workshops, creative writing workshops where we really explore our sense of self and more than more importantly, we're able to listen deeply to each other and each other's stories. So we have a special guest with us here today, Roberta Taylor. Roberta, do you want to greet our audience? <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Yay! Roberta's a very special person because she will be performing at a very special event happening September 24th on at 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. at Harbour Front Centre. It is Tifa's 43rd annual festival. So Tifa is the Toronto International Festival of Authors. And Roberta will be reading a piece or a couple pieces, Roberta? Three, I believe. Three pieces. Okay, so we're getting a lot out of this um, special event. It'll be Roberta and a few other of our WCC writers that will be performing. But let me not sell you on the event. We're here because, Roberta, we want to ask you a couple questions about your pieces that you're going to be reading. First question being, what do these pieces mean to you? Oh, the, the three pieces that I'll be reading are very different from each other. One was written in Winnipeg in the early 2000s after I'd gone back to see my grandchild that was about a year and a half old. And it's about how society views people who are different from each other. And it's uh, called One Side. The other one was in the Who Is We uh, production and it's called The Broken World. And the third piece is a piece from the new collection of books called The Hull of My Soul. Wow. And that one, that one it came from the Write On program and it was so exciting to be part of the Write On program for the third time. And in this case, I wasn't with Jay Titel, who I'd been, uh, who'd been mentoring me for the first two Write On programs. I was with Anna and a group of women, and I'd never been in a group just with women before, and it was one of the best experiences I've ever had. Wow, what made it um, the best experience for you? And also, can you explain to our audience that might not know, what is the Write On program? The Write On program is a special program in the WCC that um, helps writers who want to get public published prepare work to be published specifically for the Writers Collective's um, anthology. Okay, wonderful. And it meant so much to me because I wrote my first published short story, which I'm not reading from because it's too long, and a, a really incredible poem that both of those things got published. Right. And wow. my other couple poems that I worked on in the in that program, I put aside for another time. Right, right, right. Thank you for giving the breakdown. And I think it's right. my understanding that the write on program was kind of like a, a it doesn't run right now, but it, when it was running for it's you. Every couple of years, hopefully we do it again, because yeah. I think it's one of the best programs that the WCC puts into um, it, that's how books get generated. Right. Let me ask you, Roberta, when it comes to your writing, did you start off writing wanting to be published? No, I started writing when I was a little girl, when I was six, five and six years old with my dad. My dad was a poet and an artist and a hunter and a fisherman, and he did all kinds of different things. And I had no intention that when I was five or six of ever being published. That wasn't my goal. Of course, my yeah. goal was to write poetry. <laughs> right, right. So poetry, and then you said you also had a had short stories. Did I've you... always started writing short stories, but I'm a terribly procrastinating person, and I never finish them. Fair. But I actually learned through the Write On program how to finish a short story, although it is a really short short story. Right, right. That's but I've written articles before. I've written um, sort of political things, but I've never written a 
fictional short story of that page and a half length before. I've written super tiny short stories. Right, 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 right. No, that's incredible. And I'm also hearing this progression of like just writing for fun and then writing to kind of enhance this desire to want to complete a kind of style of writing. And now you're being featured at Tifa, which is like such a progression, like such an unplanned progression. Can I ask you, oh, sorry, go ahead. You're going to say something. No, no. No, I was at FIFA before. <laughs> you have? Okay, do you want to talk about yeah. that experience? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That's no problem, because I have another question for you anyway. <laughs> My last question for you, because I don't want to keep you here too long, but I'm curious, with this life, like you are a lifelong writer at this point, what inspires you to write, to begin writing, and then what inspires you to stay or continue to write? Um, I think what inspired me to begin writing when I was little was that I liked the way words work. I liked the, the language that we use. And as a small child, I liked rhyming things and putting little couplets of words together. And I would write regularly because I couldn't spell. And as a non spell, I learned to spell because I learned to write. And I, I really enjoy writing now. I, I try and do it. I go through periods of time like every writer where I don't write for periods of like months on end and weeks on end. And then all of a sudden I'll write every day for like seven months or a year. Right. I've been like that most of my life. I'll go three or four years where I write every day. I'll right. go three or four months where I don't write a word. It's it's a it's part of my psychological makeup, but when I really need to write, I sit down and I spend time writing. Right, that's very I, inspirational. Sorry, Roberta, I cut you off. I have always loved to write, but it's just sometimes we can't do it. It's our bodies and minds are not there. Right. Thank you so much for that reflection because I think a lot of our audience, but also other people that want to write or identify as writers really are hard on themselves. Like, ah, oh, I, I haven't written like this in so long. So for you to talk about your journey is really inspirational. And I know you have a writing prompt for us today, but before then, is there anything that you'd want to say to anyone who's thinking about writing or is frustrated with their writing style or, or their routine? Well, if you're frustrated with your routine, you should stop writing for a while and come back to it. And if you're frustrated with your style, then you go to a writing group and you listen to other people's style mm -hmm. and you get inspired by them. Amazing advice. Thank you so much for offering that. Will you leave us with a writing prompt? Yes. Um, if you dream, do you dream in color or do you dream in black and white? And do you have sounds in your dream? Ooh. Okay, repeat that one more time for us. If you dream, do you dream in color or do you dream in black and white? And do you have sound, and I'm going to add something, or music in your dream? That's so interesting. I have never heard a prompt like that. So folks, if you are taking this prompt and playing with this prompt, definitely let us know what you came up with. I would be very interested to know how people dream or, or what their dreams look or feel or sound like. Roberta, thank you so much for your time today. And for our audience, this is just a snippet of the kind of beautiful personality and presence that you'll get treated with on September 24 at 11.30 a.m. to 12.30. This is an outdoor event, so if you're feeling comfortable to distance, to watch some people um, offer such gorgeous, beautiful pieces, WCC writers are where you're gonna get that experience and you'll be able to meet Roberta there as well. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone, and hope to see you there.